What's going on everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. And as you can see, we still under renovations. Workplace ain't fully set up yet, but I get in there, I promise. We're gonna have you with some fire. But we gotta talk about death battle. For the year of 2019, I've taken an L this season. Wario versus King DDD. What a slobber knocker it was. It was, it felt like it could have really gone either way. When they were going over each person's feats, I was like, Wario, he kind of tough. Like, I specifically, when they was going over Mario versus Sonic, I remember the Strikers thing, where, I think it's Mario Strikers, that's the soccer one, right? Where, you know, he kicked the ball explosion, Mario stood out, like, Wario could tank that too, so Wario's pretty durable. And he did tank that, he tanked a lot tougher stuff than Mario did, but DDD is also no slouch. I feel like, to be honest, to be honest, I feel like my man Wario didn't justifiably lose, because again, they were scaling DDD to feats that Meta Knight did, and to feats that Kirby did, and because he fights them all the time, they just assume that they can keep up. That's like saying, because Krillin trains with Goku every day, Krillin's as strong as Goku. It don't scale that way, guys. And I usually don't complain. And you know, I'm going to take this L on the chin, but I'm just saying. It wasn't as clear-cut and defined as those death battles usually are. They even reference it that they haven't really seen either of them at their full potential. So I'm going to take the L on the chin, because that's what I tell y'all to do whenever I'm right. And I'm going to... I'm going to keep that L and I'm going to just keep it moving. I don't, I don't like it. This next death battle is really interesting. And I'm going to have some caveats with this. The next death battle we have from Cartoon Network. Back in the good old days of Cartoon. We have the man who picked up a watch and turned into aliens upon aliens. Repping for the Tennyson's. We have Ben Tennyson. And in the other corner, repping for the Lantern Course. The man who redefines willpower itself. How Jordan! I'm assuming they're going with the How Jordan version. It'd be bomb if they went with Jon Stewart, though. That's the Black Green Lantern, if y'all don't know. See, the How Jordan and Jon Stewart. Those are How Jordan's more popular, so I'm assuming they're going with him, and that's who they kind of showed in the trailer. So, yeah, it's Ben 10 from Cartoon Network versus How Jordan, Green Lantern. Now, if y'all seen any Justice League iteration besides the movie joint, because, you know, the movie, they didn't have him, but he had his own movie, too. Green Lantern, his power is as limitless as his willpower. So as long as his willpower doesn't break, he can get as strong as he needs to be. With that being said, in the animated movies, Green Lantern thought he was the strongest person out there, tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, got that ass whooped. Was not even a competition. It was just like, bop, wah, 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 wah. He actually took L's throughout that movie. Like, even Darkseid, he tried to step, Green Lantern tried to step the Darkseid. Darkseid sent the minions on it. Well, Darkseid, like backhanded him and then the minions were, without missing a beat just got on top of him what 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 nobody went to save that man hilarious moment now ben 10 we've seen him do a lot of stuff he has his 10 aliens and of course if you go full potential ben 10,000 that's a whole another monster that is super versatile and ben grown up if it's ben grown up who can control the omnitrix who has access to all 10,000 aliens, it's probably more than 10,000. It's probably more like 10 million, to be honest. But if he has access to fully control the Omnitrix, like we saw in that episode where Ben went into the future, and his future so like, he got so good with the Omnitrix, he was never really his human form. He was always a different form of the alien. The Omnitrix never timed out. He was the leader of, like, the Peace Corps in the future. If we're going with that Ben 10, Ben 10 takes it. Also, he has Alien X. Granted, Alien X has pretty much stand still until they do the whole debate thing but alien x's power is also limitless alien x can redefine the laws of the world and if he can get off one move with alien x it's a wrap for green lantern now if they don't use the fully harnessed control omnitrix ben 10 if they use the kid ben 10 where he only has the 10 11 12 aliens and the omnitrix times out and he doesn't even pick the right alien Green Lantern's going to take this hands down because all it takes is one slip up from Ben 10 and Hal Jordan is on that ass. All it takes is one slip up and he is dead. Green Lantern is no slouch. Hal Jordan's willpower is arguably the strongest of the Green Lanterns that there's ever been. Sinestro's a, a close second. They go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, really. But, uh, yeah, Green Lantern's not the best in his universe. He's not the best in the Justice League. I actually think Green Lantern's probably second to the worst in the Justice League. Wonder Woman's top tier. Superman's the highest. Batman, eh, Batman could be Green Lantern. Flash would be Green. Everybody can body Green Lantern. So I don't see why if Ben, if they're using the fully harnessed power Ben 10, this is no competition. Ben 10's gonna win. 
If it's the kid Ben 10, that's the only caveat. If it's the kid Ben 10 without full control, Green Lantern. But Death Battle's whole thing is they take them at their absolute best. And his absolute best was Ben 10,000. And I don't think there's a soul out there who can stop Ben 10,000. He's done some, he does some crazy stuff as a kid, but with full control, with the, the mindset of a grown adult, I don't, nobody's going to stop this dude. How Jordan are you going to put up a good fight? But Ben 10's taking this. Comment down below who you think is going to take this fight between Ben 10, the Cartoon Network savior, or Green Lantern, the hero of the, the Green Lantern Corps. Save him from the yellow Corps, sphere Corps, whatever they call them. Comment down below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that social media jazz. I almost wanted to put a fire, but I can't put fire. My camera's still, I just can't get it to work, guys. I don't know what's going on. Peace.